body modification. Body modification is body modification. The body modification. People think it's just piercing or tattooing. It's kind of a broad question. What is body modification? I mean, a lot of things that people don't consider body mod, even from hair cutting, hair dyeing, makeup. It makes me happy. I think that's that's probably the answer that I give to most people. Body modification is any elective change made to the body, generally um, aesthetic changes, although it's not limited to that. The body modification community first started organizing through underground zines that, you know, uh, over, say, the last 15 years became increasingly popular and increasingly mainstream, and now, um, you know, now it's moved way past zines, you know, where we have tons of television shows, major magazines, um, even movies dedicated to the subject. With practices such as body suspension and implants being done more frequently and showing up in mainstream media, questions have risen. What's the point of having them? Why would I do that to myself? Does it hurt? When the internet came along and when BME came along, um, a lot of people got online and sent in pictures and found other people that were just like themselves, that maybe thought that, you know, there was nobody else like them. Um, so I believe that, I, th I think the whole community started at that point. I think, I think that tools like like BME and now obviously there are there are a lot more as well, um, were, were especially important in, in the early days where where there weren't really any other channels for, for people to communicate because there were there were so few people who were out about what they were doing that it was very difficult to find someone in your area that was was into heavier forms of body modification. So. Um, the internet sort of takes away the notion of physical geography. So, you know, even though, you know, there's, there's, you know, say there's a hundred people into whatever form of body modification in the world that are out and talking about it, you know, a hundred people spread out over the globe is, is terrible. You're never going to meet a person uh, around you, you know, but if you take a hundred people and spread them around a single website, then all of a sudden, no, they're talking and they know each other and they're not really that, that far apart. It's certainly been a useful communication tool. I mean, the IM site that sprung up around BME has certainly put a lot of people in touch who wouldn't have otherwise met and certainly encouraged certain procedures to get done. Little light bulb go off in their head going, oh my God, I didn't know you could do that. It didn't create a culture, like it didn't, it didn't create these people out of nothing, but it, but it allowed them to come together and, um, and communicate in a way they would never have been able to otherwise and other people like myself that had the same interests as myself and uh, basically form our own personal community within the community. So I, I loved it for that. I think everybody would get the same out of it. BME I think is, BME I think is important because it's very, it's very inclusive of different, different forms of body modification and different motivations. It just exposes people to a lot more things. From my point of view, um, the sexuality is what drives most body modification, even if people, you know, don't really want to admit it. I think that's, I think that's why most people get tattoos, um, even, even really simple stuff, because the way that you express yourself using your body is, is the way that you sort of, you know, do a mating dance with the rest of society and you are expressing who you are, uh, what you're looking for. I really think that a lot of people shy away from, from sexuality because, you know, people don't want to put sexuality on TV, you can get in trouble for it, but I think it's sort of disingenuous to, to, to hide that aspect of it. Like a lot of people, I feel as though they have to hide a lot of their modifications, they can't hide, they can't tell anybody because nobody would understand, they'll send them to an institution, <clears throat> whatever the case may be, so. Because they're happier with their bodies, as of when they started, they weren't happy with their bodies. 
No, no, nothing worse than seeing somebody that's not comfortable in their own skin. Owning a studio for seven years. Seven years ago, I've had a lot of parents that would never step foot into a tattoo studio. That was just taboo. You would never see older clientele walking through here. It was really weird. And within the last few years, it's just, it's snowballed into something greater. And it's not that they had to diet or anything to get comfortable. They had to in externalize what's inside. Then they felt more comfortable. Mm -hmm. That their insides match their outsides.